Hey guys, we're back here for another video and today, welcome back to Friday Reactions. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably wondering, why am I doing React Fridays again? I said that I cancelled it. Um, well, the answer to that is, well the only reason I cancelled it was because I never got into the mood of actually doing it. But, um... Now, I've decided to actually get back into the mood of doing Friday Reactions. Um, and I, I've changed the name because I think it, it React Fridays just doesn't sound good. So I changed it to Friday Reactions instead. Anyway, this video is called Super Mario 3D World Happy Hacking. <laughs> Um, uh, with my brother here. Mm -hmm. Now, trust me, this video is hilarious. So, let's start. And I can't hear it because he's wearing his headphones. Yeah, that's right. I can't do anything either. Oh. I don't know. What, was my volume back or something? Yeah, I turn up the volume. I don't know. Where is the volume keys? Come on, pause. That. Yeah. It was, the, the volume was literally off. Hang on, let's try that again, shall we? I think there's something wrong with this. Did I press the wrong button or something here? Alright, I, I gotta go call the store. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome back to another hacking video. Back in 2013, when I did the very first hacking episode, I wasn't expecting it to be all that popular, but I was clearly wrong about that, because as it stands right now, they're some of the most viewed videos I've ever done. Well, you may think that I've ran out of ideas for these by now, but you would be mistaken. There's actually quite a few I'd still like to do down the line, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those videos. And this one has been on my list for quite some time. I'm really excited to share this one with you guys, so let's just get right into it. Super Mario 3D World Hacking. Well, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hilarious when you beat a level because not only does his head go completely off the screen, he's almost as long as the freaking pole. But maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Let's try out a few simpler things first. I'm sure you guys remember how Nintendo added the invincibility leaf for players who have trouble beating a level, but who needs that when you can just give yourself infinite lives and infinite level time? The only downside is that once you beat the level, you have to wait for the time bonus, which takes a while. Alright, well that's enough of that. Oh, would you look at that? It's a Goomba mother with her tiny, weirdly stretched out sentence. <laughs> oh, nature, you're so adorable. You're so weird. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill your son, alright? Freaking accident. She <laughs> didn't get all mad about it. Oh, great lord. Oh, <laughs> oh, whatever it takes to abuse you. Just because I'm paying attention, you don't even look in my direction. Uh, you know what? I was, I was just gonna kill him. Killing Lord Goomba. Assuming I can actually find his hitbox, that is. There we go. Not only can you resize Goombas, you can also resize an entire level with a code made by both Cosmo, Courtney, and Negative. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun, and just to make sure you're careful with it, because it can potentially break the entire game, get you stuck in a death loop, and if you have infinite lives on, well, better to do a hard restart, I guess, because you're screwed. Okay, well, I take it back. It did eventually continue with the game, it's just Mario doesn't seem to exist anymore. So, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> I think this is what'll happen when Mario finally dies, like, for real. The entire Mushroom Kingdom will just kind of implode on itself and become this 
crazy nonsensical insanity dimension just on loop for all eternity. Uh, I have no evidence to back that up, though. How about resizing a tree? Interestingly, unlike some other resized objects, the hitbox of the tree also grows. But that, I'm afraid, is just not big enough. We need it to be so big that it doesn't even fit on the screen anymore. Perfect! <laughs> Luckily, we can zoom out the field of view and still see the entire thing in all its glory. I couldn't find a way to make it up to the top of the tree, which made me really sad, but once I saw this tiny tree, I felt a little better. It's just so freaking cute. I can barely even stand it. Make me mad. I'm sorry, Azura. I just don't need you anymore. I'm a tiny tree. Your cuteness is no longer necessary. That's <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay, you can stay, I guess. Oh, yeah. The hitbox on this one definitely did not size down with the rest of the tree, as you can clearly see here. <laughs> but you know what's more fun than resizing a tree? Riding a tree. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that didn't work. Let's try again. <laughs> ride it wherever you like. Fly it straight through the ground, fly it through the air, ride it through a pipe over and over. <laughs> Who cares? You can even continue playing through the level. You can pick up coins, get power ups from hit blocks, and you can get. <laughs> Ooh. 
And then at other times, you can barely even tell what's happening at all. <laughs> Indeed, you may occasionally not be able to tell what's going on, but on the positive side, all this hacking stuff probably makes this Let's Play safe on YouTube. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I really doubt that this is going to get content ID. But now that I think about it, it may not be advertiser-friendly. I mean, this tomorrow is a little bit phallic. I guess that's a chance I'm willing to take, though, because this is possibly the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Walking down the overworld is hilarious, and if you turn the music off, it even gets a little bit creepy. The flowers, bushes, and clouds are all spazzing around, but the individual level placeholders are especially freaky. It kind of looks as if Plussy is drowning, just like, desperately trying to keep his head above water. Come on, Plussy, you've got so much to live for. You can make it. Just keep, just keep pushing on. Also, I'm, on I'm on top, so please, uh, please don't fall. Alright, well, that was my best. How about fighting some corrupted bosses? I like these guys because the way they're waving their arms around makes it look like they're having a little temper tantrum. As you can imagine, complicated boss fights like Histocrat become incredibly more difficult than corrupted. But with Histocrat specifically, make sure you turn the corruption on after you start fighting it because. Yeah. But some bosses like these guys are practically impossible because their bodies and hitboxes fly around the screen completely at random. I mean, look at this. I knock him down, but before I even get the chance to finish him off, he teleports completely off screen, and by the time he comes back, he's on his feet again. Freaking cheaters, can you believe this? I would never <laughs> skip uh, so well as it's a game over there. I would never. I would never. Do you are watching the PM show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we went over earlier in the show, things are not going great here financially, so we're going to have to sell some products. Right now, we have a very special, uh, a special limit time offer for you. Uh, for only four easy payments of $12, uh, $12, we can have your very own uh, Spinning Cat Mario. Uh, so pick up the phone call right now. We don't have any official payment structures set up just yet. Just go ahead and send me that uh, straight into the mail. Uh... Send whatever you can. I need more jackets. I need more jackets. Uh, this is for later in the show. This is for later in the show, but if you call later, you're going to be able to pick up your own balloon animals kit. Uh, and this is pretty high quality uh, on its own, but uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you call, uh, if you call, call this one right now, right? We're not selling this one right now. Call, call later. And last but not least, normally this would go for much higher. We're going to call in the next 28 seconds. You can get your very own. Weird Cat Mario what? for only $837. Complete with all the weird cat Mario uh, antics you expect. Uh, uh, like, uh. What did he do again? <laughs> Paul? Paul? I forgot, I, I, nobody works here anymore. Uh, I had to lay him off. So make sure you send the money. Uh, send it straight, <laughs> straight to me. S uh, uh, s send me money right now. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. It's been a great show. Hey, I see you. Co a gun? Watch out. The shadows. My God. <laughs> the whole thing is obviously really weird looking, but I think the thing that's bothering you the most are the shadows. I really don't like those. Those are, those are getting to me. No more shadows, at least. All right, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can... Uh, be alerted when new videos come out. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help me out, make sure you like it and uh, favorite it. Leave a comment as well. It helps YouTube know that people want to watch this video and help share around. I don't know. It helps. And it's much appreciated. Thank you. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, this episode is sponsored by TV and Jack on the Gameplay Channel. It's one of my personal favorites. And I'll see you guys next time. Mama! Really? Uh, so, guys, that was. Super Mario 3D World Hacking. Very, very, very funny. Yes. Very funny. Very, very, very hilarious. I'll leave a link in the description to, um, 
the video and that guy's channel um, as well. Uh, but uh, please leave a like if you liked it, um, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know how to do that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.